Say what you mean and mean what you say. Give it to me straight, spit it out, say it to my face. There are many ways we ask for it, but no matter how you ask for it, we all want the same thing. We want to be told the truth and we want to hear it straight from the source. As a parent, I feel like I say these words a lot more now than I ever used to. When my kids want something, I want to hear them say it and I want to hear them ask for it properly. Thankfully, the Lord has blessed parents with that parental intuition that many times allows us to know what they're going to ask for before they even say anything. Yes, kids, it's a real thing. But that doesn't mean that we don't want to actually hear them say it. Unfortunately, this isn't something that we easily grow out of. Even as adults, when we have to talk to someone or ask for something, we begin to get a little anxious or uncomfortable and we seem to talk in circles and take forever to get to the point if we ever arrive there at all. Listen to the words of Paul in Philippians 4 verses 6 through 7. He says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I love these verses, even though I may not always be the best at following them. They perfectly spell out to us how to ask God for something. Growing up, I remember a time in youth group when I was asked to close the night in prayer. And so I began, as most teenagers do, mumbling some sort of combination of vaguely rehearsed keywords I had heard. And, uh, and I remember my youth pastor's wife, she kind of stopped me and she shared the scripture with us. She began to break it down and I've never forgotten her words. And this is what I would like to leave you with today. When you pray, pray specifically. No matter what you're praying for, from health and wealth to happiness or healing, be specific. Don't be afraid to go before God. Just talk to him as if he's right here with you because he is. And when you pray, be sure to thank God specifically for the prayers he has already answered in your life and the things he has blessed you with. When you pray this way with a right heart and a grateful heart, trusting God and understanding that he is in control, he will give you a peace that is greater than anything that you can understand. So when you pray, remember, pray specifically. <laughs>